All right, I know these pants are way too tight. These are sweatpants. I had bought them uh, a few years ago when I was doing a promo for Instagram for my fitness channel. And look at this mess here. But the point of this is, oh, I can't, I can't change the, uh, the side of this. But anyways, um, I'm gonna wear these because I'm trying. I, I cleaned up actually. Okay, this part isn't clean, but more of my floor is cleaned. I There were papers all over. I haven't looked through all these, but at least they're somewhere. I wanted to get rid of this. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things, but this, I showed this in another video where I finally got my clothes organized. This are sweatpants. These are sweatpants, even ones with holes in them that I need to fix on my own. But the pants I'm wearing now, these tight ones, I never wore them. But I realize they're supposed to be form-fitting. I'm not going to wear them at, at the gym. I'm going to change it to shorts, but I'm going to wear these outside. And I'm going to put my sweatshirt on because I don't get tan. Um, these are just my training t-shirts. And these are shirts I wear to bed. And this is just extra stuff because I couldn't fit them into here. Then I have my baskets here with my products. I also have them here. Uh, what's this up there? X large shirts for work. Um, that reminds me, I need to get the rest of the, uh, this is the other basket. I've gotten very good at doing this as a habit. It's only been a few days, but I seem to have evolved into someone who knows to put this back when they're finished because I kind of like it. I don't know how long this is going to last me, but so I have to stop the video and restart it when I want to do something. So I'm going to edit this video on this phone. Uh, I haven't edited many videos recently because it's a pain in the ass. Like the, and so if I could use it on this phone, I figured it'd be a good thing. I don't know why I'm doing this in English. It seems to be my French videos get more views but i feel like editing today probably do it on the bus ride subway ride um so this is part of the uh, clean my messy condo segment but i worked a lot on this floor i brought a lot of stuff downstairs to the garage um just left it for people to pick up i had fitness books and i got rid of them because it's been like 10, year, 10 years I haven't looked at them. I keep my massage therapy school stuff. Um, these boxes that are here, they're, you know, I still can't get rid of those. But that section there is for my first aid CPR stuff. The suitcase, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But um, this bike I never got repaired. And the place where I bought it from, which was for inner city, inner city people. <laughs> Um, low income people, we don't have, it's not for inner city people, it's for low income people of the area. Um, and they had to close down. So, um, yeah, so I was stuck, which is why I got to the floor stuff. Cause I still have this room over here. These are, uh, wife beaters that I'm not getting rid of even though I'm not wearing them right now. But I got rid of a lot of shorts, except for three pairs, which are up there. I haven't tried them on yet. And I still have stuff here that I need to get rid of. And and I have this, I got um, this shelf, which has my gym towels on it, which used to have those shirts that I wear to bed, which are now in the bedroom. And then I have some, the towels used to be down here, but. So I'm in limbo here and I'm stuck. And that's what pisses me off because I'm stuck. And then I end up stopping and then things get messy again. And um, I have DVDs and CDs, which I want to keep scanning into my or ripping into my hard drive, external hard drives before I get rid of them. <sighs> Some more first aid stuff. Some, you know. 
it becomes overwhelming. I, I'm glad that I got that one part in the bedroom. So I don't know, I'm stuck right now. I, I really don't know what to do, except I'm going out to train. I didn't yesterday, it was two days I haven't worked out again. Because, and the day before I worked out really late, which screwed me up. Yesterday I was really out of it, and I decided to stay home. I had to take care of stuff. It's, it's been a tough, it's really been a tough week, so. Um, it's not raining today, it was raining yesterday a lot. But um, I'm off. Uh, I forgot to mention that we are uh, Saturday, August 10th at 11.13 a.m. At least I got out before noon. I got up at 8. To, went to bed around midnight or so. So that's, that's a win, as you say, you know. Um, like, I have a lot I need to catch up on. Uh, working out, but I'm not going to be able to do everything. I have to uh, accept that, you know. I usually stop after three hours. I mean, that's including stretches and all that, you know. So, I, this is what I'm noticing is that I haven't eaten noodles in a, in a few days because I ran out. I've been replacing it with rice. But also, um, I haven't had that as many ve Well, yesterday I had uh, vegetables. I had uh, frozen beans, frozen peas. I put it in with uh, the remainder of uh, the uh, cooked beans that I had in the crock pot. Um, so I had that, and then I had a smoothie. But I had a lot more rice, and I seem to be blowing up. Um, what seems to work best for me is when I make a meal of, uh, like I'll put all the veggies in, and I'll put just a little bit of uh, noodles, I guess because I put less, because so, the veggies fill me up. Whereas with the rice, I'm just having rice. I'm having a lot. So I was trying to figure out which gym to go to to see what I would be close to where because I need to go do copies for another first aid course I'm teaching for someone else. So I have to make sure I have all the exams printed out and stuff. And I want to go to Walmart. Even though it's not on sale, but I want to get more of that sunscreen that I like. You know, just to, just to keep up on it, because it goes it goes by fast, especially when I use a lot when I have to. But um, I got a message. I keep past two days. I keep getting a message from the person that I had a uh, little sex date with, which was good, but past year he was off grinder and uh it's just he's just he's weird he's very introverted you know but he also does a lot of drugs you know anyways so he did a lot of, does a lot of drugs and then there's a smoking room at this sex establishment and he was up there just being on his phone so it's like no connection, you know. Um, he did give me his cell phone number. I never asked. <sighs> so, I'm almost at the gym. It's 11.32. So I'm actually gonna get to the gym before noon. Wow. Cause I was thinking, that guy, like he, he keeps calling me at night and it's always spontaneous and it's like, eh. I, it's not much of an investment I want to make with this guy, right? I mean, it was hot, but there's nothing more than that. It's just I'm not that interested. Then there's the other guy, the one who I've been going frequently with. Um, 
but it's just complicated because I have to meet him there. You know, I have to meet him at a subway, and then he drives because it's in the, kind of in the burbs where I meet him. And I don't know. I thought I would be finishing later at the gym today because I'd be arriving there later. But since it's 11:32, maybe who knows? Who knows how my mind's going to change? Right now, I'm getting tired. It, my, my energy just goes up and down, you know? Loving that sunscreen combo. I have to get a darker color, because if I use that white sunscreen, but it's so good. But during the winter time, I kind of change it, you know? I have been t playing with the idea of getting the Korean sunscreen, which I've had a couple of times, the Biore Aqua one. I don't know. And I'm thinking, I, I brought the one that I, I have on now. It's two. One is the Hawaiian Tropic, uh, and it's a, it leaves a white cast, but I put the Neutrogena dark color sunscreen on top. But do I want to do that in public? I tried it once at the gym, but with a lighter color. Then I'm like, eh. It's too, it takes too long, you know? I don't need a mirror to do it, but still. Um, but then, if I just use the regular one, Banana Boat, kids, but the one that's chemical or organic, as Dr. Drake says, um, Now I just put it on, even though I have my face gets red and whatever, I don't care. But sometimes I do care, so I want to see if I can put on the white cast one and then put the color on top of it, see what it does. But I have to have time for that, so it depends on how much time I have. I also bring the spray just in case. Um, so I have three options. <laughs> That sunscreen for you. But all the while, I'm staying in the shade as much as I can. I don't have a hat. So that sucks. But anyways. All right, I'm almost there. I want to work out some more on legs, because... Uh, Hello, Jiggy. Hello, Jiggy. But anyways. Um, my, the, my knee pain is gone. Like, it, when I train legs, depending on what I do, I'll get like knee pain and I'll flip when I go up, a, up a, on these sidewalks. But then taking the day off or whatever, and the inflammation went down and now it's like, like I can work on them again. I get the same thing with my shoulders and everything, elbows. It's part and parcel, you know? Because when you do weights, you know, joints hurt too. So the, the trick is to not overdo it. Do other things that don't aggravate it. So, but then I got my back. I feel like I need to do, I, there's so many things I need to do, you know? So that's where it gets overwhelming. So I'm almost here, about 30 seconds. People I like don't tend to come on the weekend, so I probably won't know anyone. Not that I talk to anyone, but it, it helps with the atmosphere. All right, here we are. And I'm probably gonna edit while I'm stretching and all that. We'll see.